hope you don't mind if I move around a little bit. It's the only exercise, I guess, uh, these few weeks. We've been so busy on the road. Very good afternoon, and uh, delighted uh, to be here uh, with you. Uh, before I start, I suppose ever since I declared my interest in seeking a nomination to contest the presidency, which was late July, uh, most people have been saying to me, why? Uh, and it's always a nice concern, why? Why would you put yourself through uh, what's invariably described as a bear pit of a presidential election? And the reason uh, I'm seeking your vote to be president is that I believe there are very significant issues coming up in the next seven years very serious societal issues that you'll be well aware of because of the work that you do. And I really do feel we need to have a national conversation about the type of society uh, we're going to have uh, going forward. Uh, we got carried away in uh, the noughties uh, with an economy and building it up. And uh, then in the last number of years, the country went bankrupt bailed out surprisingly bounced back and yet isn't back properly and effectively. So um, that's why I put myself forward and though everybody says it's a very difficult uh, type of election, I'm not just saying this, it's inspiring to go around the country and to meet people and it begs a question for this sector. Where did it all go wrong? Because there was a time people appreciated that we were out there doing good. And now suddenly, in a world of compliance and regulation, it's what did you do wrong in the last while that we seem to become more fixated with as a society. When you think of people who set up a charitable organisation or have a great idea, it starts off with a can-do attitude. And very quickly it's become a can't-do regulatory situation. It starts it off with blue sky thinking and it ends up with a lot of red tape bureaucracy. That's what I've seen happen in the charity voluntary sector. And that's why it's so refreshing to be in Tipperary Town last Sunday and to meet a young woman called Jennifer Jones Hickey, who was uh, diagnosed with cancer just seven years ago. I'm saying the just part because what she's achieved in seven years is remarkable. Not only has she had her personal battle with cancer, but Orla, my wife and I and the team, we were being shown around a new cancer care facility, a brand new facility uh, costing over one million euro that they've raised funds for and opened in three weeks' time in Tipperary Town, serving Tipperary and parts of two other counties, uh, Limerick and North Cork. And it's just awesome to think that in the adversity of facing cancer, a personal battle, somebody can create something like that with her dad, Pat, and they mobilized a community to, to support it. And you heard Mia, who Sure, is it very because we, we get to know one another on the road, as it were. Uh, and you know, when you hear from my good friend later on, Senator Joan Freeman, to think of a, her personal family adversity with a suicide and to be able to create something the size and scale of Pieta House, um, it's amazing what happens in your sector. And, and what I'm leading to is this. Had we decided that the HSE should open a cancer care centre in Tipperary, you wouldn't have got the support 
that has happened locally. People buying brick by brick to build that because it was done in the voluntary sector. And of course I know we have to be very conscious of governance and that's the wonderful work that the wheel, one of the many things the wheel helps us with, uh, I go back many years with Deirdre Garvey, you know, how it sort of helps us in that regard. But somewhere along the line, our political class came up with a great trick. If we put a regulator between ourselves and the delivery of the service, then the regulator can blame the deliverers and police them, but it's also a buffer between us and, and them. And so, in my view, we've gone regulation heavy. Now, now sorry, I'm not saying that we shouldn't be because we're spending public funds, exchequer funds, of course it has to be accountable. But that has been, for me, something that I've seen happen in the last uh, you know, 20 years or so. And uh, the regulation becomes heavier and heavier. So much so that if you're a frontline health service worker, you probably spend more time filling in forms than actually providing care. I mean, now, if you disagree with me, but like, you know, that, that seems to be the way it has evolved. And uh, that's my biggest concern about the sector, because there's something special about volunteerism. To get it to work to its maximum, we have to have a professional input. You get the balance right. Uh, but if we're geared too much towards the bureaucracy, it causes um, it, it becomes a bit of a handbrake on, on what can be, uh, can be achieved. 